Burnout is tough. I personally, I think it's a headspace thing. You just have to figure out how to have a very thick skin. It's going to come off, you know, disingenuous. And it's not the best thing in the world. Essentially, it's super easy, just 15 minutes a day. It makes the biggest difference. <laughs> That's so scandalous! <laughs> Hi, you guys, it's Nilu. I am here at VidCon with FanJoy, and today we're finding out how creators take care of themselves and how they deal with creator burnout. Let's go. And I'm with Chad and V, and I'm asking them about creator burnout. So obviously, creator burnout is a huge thing that happens, and sometimes you find yourself in a rut. You're just like not playing yourself creatively. What do you guys do to get yourself back in a better headspace? I think just realizing that creator burnout is pretty much inevitable and everybody goes through it that helps a lot to know that but also it's good to set times of like here's the time where I'm working here's the time where I'm not working and that's what V and I do we are married and we work together full-time so that's very important to us it's like hey Monday through Friday that's Chad and V business time weekends Chad and V husband and wife time it sounds so so, <laughs> so scandalous <laughs> but on the times you guys aren't working what are like some fun things you guys do that are like okay turning off work we're just gonna like take care of ourselves what does that look like for you guys recently we've been bike riding oh, yeah fun. yeah okay. and then uh, we're not good cooks at all so we go to a lot of restaurants but we always have to remind ourselves like okay no phones no talking about work let's just eat talk about other things yeah, yeah. yeah I definitely have turned my phone off before and just like this is the only way that I can truly, truly relax and not think about work or social media in any way. So turn that phone off. It's okay. Yeah. I love that. That's amazing advice. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm here with Kurt. Hello. Hi. What is your number one tip for someone who might be experiencing creator burnout? Burnout is tough. I personally, I think it's a headspace thing. I love creating all the time. So it's what I love to do, right? So I don't feel burnout. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I would feel burned out from things that I don't want to do in the first place. Yeah. But if you do experience burnout, it's okay to take a few days and not post. It's okay to shut your, like, to not post an Instagram story or post a YouTube short. It's okay. Nothing is going to happen. Yeah. So just take a breather, you know, reset, maybe go on a little mini vacation and then get back to it. But don't treat creating content like work because it's not, it should be fun. This should all be fun. You know what I mean? I love that. If you're not having fun with what you're doing and if you don't love what you're doing, why are you doing it? Exactly. So don't make it work, first of all. But if it feels like a burnout, then just take a break. Just take a break. It's that easy. You know what I mean? There you have it. Just take a break. Just take a break. I love that. Sweet. Thank you. Yes, of course. Okay, when it comes to mental health, what do you guys do to deal with any like creator burnout or if you're feeling like in a creative rut, what's kind of your go-to to get yourself back in a good mind space? Since there's five of us, I'd say, I mean, it's really easy with being five, to, if one's burnt out, we kind of try to help lift each other up in that way. That's the great thing about a boy band. Yeah, I was gonna we're say not we're not we're not really hard on each other. Like we really are understanding of one another, especially being in a band for four years and living in the same house. It took a for while one. to get to this point, right. <laughs> but, yes. but we know where everything comes from for one another. Yeah, and we share the weight and, and step up when the other person's down. So we literally have five shoulders to lean on. Yeah, right. literally. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd say we're in a we're in a pretty unique situation, but I think it kind of applies to anyone that if you're ever feeling any sort of burnout, creative or anything community yeah to yeah. find someone else yeah. to help share the weight with it makes the biggest difference you can, cannot yeah. do it on your own yeah cannot do it on your own yeah and lots of praying lots of recentering get out yes. into nature when yes. you're around things that are man-made for so long yeah you forget where you came from which was yeah. not man-made you know what I mean yes so yeah really definitely helps. lots of that I love that thank you guys so much Absolutely. and we are with Austin Sprints right for Ruki Okay, what do you guys do when you're feeling creator burnout and you guys need to get yourself in a better headspace? What's your kind of like go-to self-care ritual? That's a good one. I used to get burnout a lot, but one thing that helped me was uh, getting in the meditation. Essentially, it's super easy, just 15 minutes a day. You can do a YouTube video. I use a breathing room. But uh, something about calming your mind and not thinking about anything for 15 minutes in the morning actually helps a lot through the whole day. I love that. Do you think at first, when you first got into meditation, it was hard for you to like get into that headspace where you're like just sitting with your thoughts for like even a minute is like so like hard to do? Gosh, it was impossible. The first, I think it was for the first month, I could only sit down for probably like three, three minutes, four minutes, and I've slowly worked my way up to 15 now. But it's made a huge difference in my life. It's actually really helped my career a lot, knowing how to relax essentially. I'm as sophisticated as Austin. I'm into meditation stuff. <laughs> I was pretty much scroll IG and TikTok with moral ideas, 
and then go for it. But yeah, he's more philosophical, all that meditation stuff. I'm more like, you know, like, where? Let's hop on IG, scroll TikTok, IG, TikTok, get some ideas, and go for it. So Scroll through my account a little bit, too. That relaxes His, you. <laughs> it does relax me. I'll scroll down there, find some ideas, and you know, execute. So. Do you need a break from social media? What do you think? More social media. <laughs> more social media. More trawling, which equals more social media and posting and videos. So, yeah. You're just staring at your phone all day. Yeah, pretty much. We're going to travel. We all travel a lot. We all travel a lot all the time. And so the way we de stress is going somewhere else and doing more social media, basically. So that's how we de stress. So, yeah. So we got meditation and we got just scroll. <laughs> Love that. Thank you guys. It was nice meeting you. And we are with Millie. Hi guys. Okay, when it comes to creator burnout, what's your one thing you do when you're feeling a little burnt out? What do you do to kind of get yourself refreshed? I think the most important thing for me is to absolutely realize that I can take a break and it's not the worst thing in the world because sometimes I feel like if I'm taking a break, then I'm going to lose momentum of creativity. But I take a break, I put my phone away, I go for a walk, I get some fresh air. I try not to think too hard about working and creating because it can get a little bit overwhelming. Yeah. And I often find that if I just have a bit of a break, something will come to me. Yeah. You gotta rest your body and also it's good for your mental health. I just try and kind of take a break from social media in general. I think people also feel like you have to be on all the time and it's like hard to be like, okay, let me just like not post today or whatever. And yeah. you like see other people posting. So you're like, I have to post now. And it's like just taking that break is so important. Absolutely. And I, I'm a big believer in quantity over quality. Like I think you still need to post consistently, but don't use your social media as a dumping ground just because you feel like you have to post and keep up with everyone else. I think just post that feels true to you and authentic to you and see what happens. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank it's so you. nice meeting you. All right, you guys, I'm with David. How's it going, guys? Super happy to be here. Okay, what's your number one tip when you're getting creative burnout? Honestly, just take the week off. Who gives a You know, you're not going to fall off or anything. I think the best videos are the ones that you're, you're inspired, you want to create, you want to post. If you're always kind of forcing yourself, it's gonna come off, you know, disingenuine. You know, for me, I have the weekends off. I don't do anything on the weekends, just hang out with my girlfriend and my friends. So I would suggest you guys do the same. And then what's your self-care ritual right now? I know you're working out a lot. Wake up every day, I go to the gym, I sauna, I take a cold shower every single morning. The second I get up, self-care, and I meditate. Tony Robbins, 15 minute priming, check it out. And you did an ice bath recently. Yeah. How'd you feel about that? Oh, so I've been wanting to do one. I just never had the opportunity. Loved it. It was really hard. I was only able to do three minutes. That's pretty good. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you so much. We are with Bunny and Cody. I'm so excited to be here with you. This is so cute. And we are talking about mental health and just having creator burnout. So how do you guys deal with burnout and just kind of being overwhelmed with posting all the time and just sometimes getting even like hate comments and dealing with that? I feel like I used to batch a lot of my content in the same days so I didn't feel like I had to be constantly on. I think I'm at a point now where like if I don't post for a few days like it doesn't really matter anymore but when you're trying to really grow it's like really important to kind of like take days off and kind of separate yourself and out of you guys watch my content you know that I deal with the hate comments very well and um, <laughs> respond to quite a few of them. You're probably one of the best people online that like deals with both of you guys with like hate comments and like kind of just being able to laugh it off and like continue and not let it get down to you guys. You just have to figure out how to have a very thick skin. In the beginning it was a lot harder mentally and now we kind of figure out I have like content days. So two to three days a week I make the content for the whole week and then mental health days at least once a week, you know? Like try and keep things a little sane sometimes, you know? <laughs> Perfect, thank you guys so much. All right, thanks so much for watching you guys. I know I learned a lot from these creators on ways that I can just help my own mental health. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment on what you guys want us to talk about next time.